Like, is this the actual URL or is this is the copyright library? Same one. Same one. Yeah, yeah. Trying to find, <laughs> trying to find <laughs> anything because they have it underground as well. Yeah, it's massive. Massive, massive library. Whacking. He's whacking, guys. Do you like my pencil case? Wait, a moment. Oh, tell it on the mount. One flew. Okay. Oh, oh. The it's names like, of books. Names of books, yeah. And this one says out of print here. We're just getting ready to go out um, shopping. You guys can't really see me. My bad. She's leaving me. Bye. But not yet. Look at the additions to my bookshelf, guys. So. These are only a few of the books. These are a few of the books I must read. Don't judge the voice, I'm still ill. And there's another one under here. Oh my lord. It's a lot. What are you buying? Um, I'm buying a mum's place to rent for my mum. She needs one of these, I think, because she has me as a daughter. Okay. And then um, luggage stuff and a bucket list journal. Do you think you couldn't make the luggage tab yourself? You could. No, this is fabric. And it's one pound. So Fair enough, it is on sale. Exactly. And All my things are on sale, unlike some people. Okay, shush. <laughs> and your notepad? Um, this one is a um, bucket list journal. I have a lot of things I want to do. I think I need a separate journal for that. So, yeah. And you couldn't make one? I mean, this one has like specific pages that are like labeled and stuff, but it's on sale. So, How much is it? Um, it's five pounds. It's half price. That was ten pounds? Yeah. Okay, if you if you don't think you can make it yourself, then I think that's a good one to get. And then you're getting your mum a present. Yes. And that's nice. All right, I, I agree. We've left, it was difficult, but we stayed on track. How do you actually refill these pads? I've never actually refilled them. Well, you can refill them. I just thought it called refill pads for the, for the banter. For the banter? <laughs> well, really Funny, for ombre. <laughs> We're not going to. I'm going to stop you. Wow. Bye. I tried to protect her from herself. There's only so much you can do. In the meantime, I'm going to stay focused. Thank you so much. I want it. Do you think I could get this one? It's also a pen holder, but it's not cardboard. It's more expensive. It's got... Oh, you can see my reflection. It's me fun. Top of my forehead. But it's got like this rose gold at the bottom. I quite like. And it fits my aesthetic well. Let's see. I'll take it. Yeah, another one that didn't make the cut. That's a heart. That's crazy.
my room and it's a mess look at this I'm gonna make my way over to the library because I think I can actually do work there and not in my room I just came back to get on some study clothes which will be trackies and probably take a blanket if it's cold and then go go I forgot like we went to the we have the brick cafe which stays open longer than our kitchen essentially catering so we went there and I got a panini and I, as I was ordering my panini I had a coughing fit slightly embarrassing but she gave me like a slice of lemon in my tea and some honey which was nice I needed it and I got some more lockets so. I just forgot to mention that I'm, I don't actually bring any of my sports stuff so I was going to actually go to Sports High Record JD to buy some basketball shorts and basketball shoes because I left all of my workout clothes and all of my like running workout worthy trainers there um, like a smart person because yeah I thought who's working out at uni I'll just buy new stuff but you want to actually conserve your budget so I'm planning on making a trip down again <laughs> again to London on Wednesday Basically, everybody's like inviting me out. Like a bunch of people have gone to see a movie today, and some people are like chilling together in the rooms and like hanging out. And I'm doing work. Do you mind? So I just saw a horse. I'm going crazy. May I just say that this Roman law textbook can write off with its stupid jargon. I'm sorry, Thomas, J-A-C Thomas. You didn't have to write like that. What the heck is this? Rome's emergence as a Mediterranean power made a continuance of this insularity impracticable and the creation of the Praetor Peregrinus was recognition of the fact. to brush my teeth and drop into bed sleep so I woke up too late to go to basketball trials today and I think maybe it was for the best because they said the Tuesday session isn't that great for you if you're ill so I'm just gonna get ready and go to the library before my lecture in boots I'm feeling quite salty about this. What, the fact we're not allowed? Yeah. I went to town to pick up my prescription and then I came back. And I was going to go to dinner, well, and then I was going to work and then see if I could go to dinner, but I had a nap and it was meant to be a short nap. I was really, really tired and turned into a really long one. I still want sleep, but I will force myself to stay awake and do my work. Um, so I'm staying in tonight. I also realised that a lot of the work that I did for my active reading is um, relevant to the question that I'm asking now and I remember a lot so the active reading did actually help you put the left leg in and the right leg in do the hokey pokey and you turn around that's what it's all about <laughs> this is really student life at Cambridge guys don't let anybody tell you any different people outside were dressed up to go out clubbing and then I 
went to the library, come out, and they're just not there anymore. And it's just so silent. It's a bit creepy. in their taxi, I think. Cute. Let's get me to sit up. I lied, the setup is not complete without the music. Now, the setup is complete. You see, I took a lot of books out of the library, but I'm end working in the library most of the time that I'm reading these books. So really and truly I didn't have to take them out. But you live and you learn. You live and you learn. I've just turned the page of this book, like properly turned the page of the book. It's wafer thin. How can the book be this thick please? And the pages are Right, so as you can see, I'm back. Basically, what happened was my, um, ugh, I feel a bit ill. Ugh. Do you guys ever just get this wave of nausea after eating? I do. Oh, it's gross. Anywho, um, basically, my phone was full, like, the memory was just full, so I couldn't film anything on there, and my, ba my camera battery had died, so I had to charge that. And I doubt I would have taken it with me anyway, just because I had to carry a lot on the way back. And uh, you can see my case, like, in the corner. And my uh, backpack was full as well, and it was heavy. Like, it tripped my feet up twice. I'm not sure if it was just because of the heaviness of it, or because I was tired. It could have been both. But essentially, I got back and I saw my family lamb. Or well, part of it, anyway. Um, and it was really lovely. And we chilled, and then... I was meant to leave that night, but I missed my train due to a variety of events, mainly just me being unorganised. So I missed my train and I ended up just getting one in the morning. So I came back. I got back at like seven, procrastinated for a bit and I was like, I'm going to have a nap. And I went and lay down and I set an alarm because I had a lecture at 10. So I set an alarm to wake up at 9.30. I woke up at five to ten. I rushed so hard. I was like, just throw the clothes on, just quickly pack, pack the bag. Because I know there was this one girl in my law lecture who lives really close and she said she would always just leave five minutes because they usually start five the lecture five minutes late and she'd just leave five minutes and then end up getting there on time. So I literally just like ran. Ooh, was that a butterfly or was that a leaf? probably a leaf. Oh, managed to get there four minutes past. I was very proud of myself. Not something I would um, ever want to do again. But yeah, just come back from lectures. I had like a law, um, an induction of how to use a website where we can find law materials, cases and legis legislation and stuff like that. Um, books and articles written by academics and it's so crazy because this guy was like if you have a supervision and you're talking about a particular topic go and see if your supervisor has written an article about that topic and then you can look that up take some notes from it maybe and then if it's an essay you can kind of see what style they want the essay in it's the perks 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 um, but right now I haven't finished all of my reading for constitutional thus I haven't finished all of the questions an essay plan, so I'm just gonna crack down and do that. Let's get to work. Aha, the cafe no. I'm waiting till the winds and crossing gate. Then at the back of the college. Um essentially. 
Oh look, there's the dining hall. That's what it looks like inside. It's quite nice. And then that's the bridge, but you can't really see it. I'll show you when I go to a supervision, um, which I didn't do today because I was rushing. In this poorly lit light, I just came back from my meeting with my friends. Um, you really can't see me. May as well be turtle on the other side. Anyway, it was a really nice meeting. And it's just like talking about sitting in um, and getting used to the whole the pressure of Cambridge. Um, but that was nice. I just catch up. It's nice. Um, and now I'm heading off to BB Ball. BB Ball? Basketball. Beeble, that's it. I got there in the end. Training. Wow, I just passed some people jogging and talking at the same time, and she was not out of breath at all. That's fitness. But essentially, what I was saying earlier, I'm just going to cut that out because it was a lot of waffle, is that joined the basketball team we have training late it's a lot of commitment but I will hopefully enjoy it I record this when it's light outside because this is just a huge field like just a huge oh wow it's actually quite scary but yeah madness so we have sad news I dropped my phone when trying to record um, outside and I've dropped my phone before so many times. Um, and I almost caught it as well. But I was a bit lax because I was like, oh, I've dropped it before and it's fine. And it cracked. And I've got cellar tape over the camera now. I've cleared up my room. As you can see, the bed is clear. Suitcase gone. Yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Actually, this is like... Technically the beginning of Cambridge week, but yeah. See you guys. <laughs>I don't know, one is like, you'll realise in some of your lectures you just could spend that time better. The lectures aren't compulsory for a reason and sometimes you can just use that time better served for you specifically, not for anyone else. But um, yeah, so I have a lot of work to do. I felt like this week has been very full on these past two weeks i'm essentially in week two of the cambridge weeks but i'm still running by my week starting on a monday which is weird um because everything is a bit messed up especially when you're planning like when to revise for supervisions and stuff and that's essentially what i'm trying to do now i'm trying to make like a study <laughs> i'm trying to make a study schedule essentially it helps to work by um full-time hours because you are essentially this is your job your degree is your job and they recommend giving it full-time hours which is like 35 to 40 hours a week so I have 11 hours of lectures in the week every week so our lectures are consistent our supervisions they change so if I split that up and I'm essentially doing four topics so this is like four subjects so if I split like if I divide, sorry, this doesn't make any sense. So I'm going with like 45 hours of work to do. And then I have 11 hours of lectures a week. So then I divide, I take away, <laughs> you can tell I don't do maths. Um, I take four, 11 away from 45 and then I'm left with 34 hours. And if I split that up by four, then I get eight and a half hours to dedicate to each subject because I have four subjects. And then I can split those eight and a half hours up however I want. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna split it up because it's all new to me. 
I have to organise my life. I have to write up my lecture notes. There's some lectures that I fell asleep in, or there's some lectures where I just did not understand what was happening. Luckily, I do have the opportunity to um, view these notes on our virtual learning platform, Moodle. So I need to log on to Moodle and I need to see the recorded lectures and I need to write up notes and make mind maps and all of that good stuff. But before I do that, I need to organise my life, which I've been saying for a really long time. So I need to make a budget plan. But I've made just like, this is my bullet journal and this is my like spread so this will be my budget tracker I'm gonna put I've made like little sections this is gonna be how much I have to work with for the term one of these will be bills um, ones that are necessary ones that I have to put aside for everything else and the rest will be like other essentials so food shopping and um, buying books or buying stationery supplies and I will put all of that in there and then in the bottom section I will have space for all of the rest of my spending, different things that I might want to spend on and um, organise my life that way so that I make sure I can pay what I have to pay and still have fun. Um, that's what I'm going to be doing now organising my life and then I will be doing supervision work because I have criminal supervision on Saturday and need to do all of that work so yes it will be working late and then I have a formal later on tonight so I will catch up with you guys in a bit and we'll see if I got all my work done or not. It was like a silent disco. Anyway, I didn't actually pick up the camera just to show you me crazily dancing. But um, remember how I said I was moving my things across? Because I'm putting my supervision notes in my folders now. Because it just makes it so much easier. I saw someone doing it um, in my supervision notes. Like, I should have done that. And these are like the notes. And then I can just read them really easily in the supervision rather than like using my notepad and like flicking through because it's a flicky one. But anyway. which was pretty cool. It's nice to have the space to talk about relationships, all different types, so friendships and that. But I couldn't stay for too long, so I just went like towards the ending. And we're gonna go see a friend if he's in his room. See if we can stew die together. And but <laughs> no, that is like the vegan or anything. <laughs> it's the formal pool. So my main meal, getting chicken. My meal. My little vegan boys. It is so cute. So the berries were nice, but this was gross. I don't know what that was. So I had my formal dinner after rushing to get there, and uh, the women didn't seem very impressed that it was late. But now I'm, um, and it lasted for longer than I thought it would. So now I'm rushing to go over to my friends. 
Let's get a head pose for the journey. I'm coming, planning on going clubbing afterwards. I'm not sure if I'm going to go, but I'm all just prepared, just in case. And I'm a busy girl. Yes, again. Even if we're not studying. this like little path right here it's where the pain was caused I'm going out. <laughs> that was me. Not tonight. 